Our transaction templates provide a comprehensive overview of all the necessary information in one convenient page, ensuring that you have a clear and organized roadmap to follow throughout the entire process. Let's take a look at how to create a transaction checklist from your templates in WiseAgent. In this video, we're going to go through how you can create a checklist in WiseAgent to take you step-by-step -step through a transaction. Each checklist you make will be created from a template. If you have not yet made a template in your WiseAgent account, please find our template tutorial video linked here or in the description below. After you've made your template, you can create a checklist by clicking any of these add buttons or under the transactions dropdown, clicking on checklists and then selecting the add button here. From here, you'll select the template that you created and at this point, you can choose the inside team member to assign the checklist to. Next, you'll want to add your primary contact to your checklist. For example, for a listing checklist, this would be your client. You can search your existing contacts or add a new one to attach. Next, we'll add an address to the checklist, which in this case would be the listing address. If you have it in your WiseAgent account as a property, you can select it, and if not, you can add it by clicking Add Property. You can also choose to skip this step if it's not necessary. Finally, you will give your checklist a name, and make sure all of the information you've included is correct. When you're ready, hit Create Checklist, and your checklist will be created in your WiseAgent account. On this page, you'll be able to fill in all of the important information for your checklist, such as commission information, important fields, and critical dates. Any information you already attached to the checklist in the setup will be found here. For example, our main contact, Michael Phelps, is listed at the top. And you are able to call, text, add a note, or add a calendar appointment for this contact. By clicking on their name, you will be taken to their contact summary page as well. If there is another checklist that this checklist should be connected to, you can add it as the parent checklist. An example might be if I had this checklist split into two parts, the listing and the under contract tasks. The parent checklist would be the listing checklist and my under contract checklist would be the child checklist. Next, when you add in your critical dates, the due dates for your checklist will automatically populate based on the information that you included in your template. Below, you will find a list of the tasks. You can manually assign tasks to an inside team member and change any of the due dates if they end up differing from what was set up on the template. When you check off a task is completed, it will be date stamped on the right hand side. If any of the tasks are not applicable for this transaction, you can mark them as so by clicking on NA. When you complete a task that has triggers attached to it, you will receive a pop-up notification letting you know that the triggers have been activated. If you would like to view the status of all the triggers for this checklist, you can click here and then sort by either pending, scheduled, or completed. If you would like to disable any of the triggers for your checklist, you would click on the disable trigger icon here. You can reactivate any disabled triggers from the disabled list. Back on the checklist, below the tasks, you'll find important contacts. Adding in the contacts is recommended before checking off any of the tasks for your checklist if they have automated actions connected to them in the templates. Once you add these contacts onto the checklist, you'll be able to contact them at any time by clicking on these icons. Below contacts is where we'll find documents. This is where you can attach important documents related to the transaction. You can add a brief description of the document being uploaded and also choose which team member the document is uploaded by. Additionally, you can email any attachments to this email address at the top of your checklist and they will be automatically added to this checklist as an attachment. 
Below documents, we'll find our transaction notes. This is where you can add any important information about the transaction that can be referenced later. You also have the option at the top of your checklist to automatically add updates as transaction notes. Once you do this, any action on your checklist will be added as a note, complete with date and timestamp. That way you have a complete record of everything that went on in the transaction. Back up top, you can see you also have the option to complete all the tasks on your checklist by toggling over this switch. Finally, from the gear icon, you'll have more checklist options, such as editing the template that this checklist is connected to, printing or emailing a summary of the checklist to share, creating a client-facing transaction portal for this checklist, and connecting any transaction management integrations that you have in your WiseAgent account. Back on the checklist page, you'll be able to sort your checklist by template type, by team member that they're assigned to, or by status. You can also search by name or keywords. You can change statuses from this page by selecting the checkboxes next to the templates that you would like to change the status for, and then choosing one of the options that appear above. A useful way to see the status of multiple checklists at once is to use our matrix view. To do that, you would want to filter by template type, and then select the checkboxes to the left of the checklist that you'd like to see. After that, this matrix view option will appear, and when you click there, you'll be taken to a page where you can see the information for multiple checklists and mark tasks as completed or not applicable. This is convenient for not having to go into individual checklists to mark tasks as complete.